Hello friends, welcome to PharmaCam Insights. In this video, we will see some basic interview question and answers on polarity. This interview question and answers will also help you to clear your concepts on polarity. So let's get started. First question, what is polarity in chemistry? So answer is polarity refers to the distribution of electrical charge in a molecule. A molecule is polar if it has a partial positive charge on one end and a partial negative charge on the other due to differences in electronegativity. Next question, what factors determine the polarity of a molecule? The factors that determine the polarity of a molecules are first is electronegativity difference between the two atoms. Second is molecular geometry shape of the molecule. Third is presence of polar bonds. Fourth is symmetry of the molecule. Next question. How does electronegativity affect polarity? So answer is electronegativity is the ability of an atom to attract electrons. When two atoms have a large difference in electronegativity, the bond becomes more polar creating a dipole moment. Next question. What is the difference between polar and non-polar molecules? So answer is polar molecules have an uneven distribution of charge resulting in dipole-dipole interactions. Example is water. On the other hand, non-polar molecules have an even charge distribution with no net dipole moment. Example methane, CH4. Next question, how does molecular geometry affect polarity? So answer is, if a molecule is symmetrical, so its dipoles get cancelled, making it non-polar. Example, carbon dioxide. And if it is asymmetrical, dipoles do not cancel each other, making it polar. Example is water. Next question, can a molecule have polar bonds but still be non-polar? So answer is yes. If the molecular geometry is symmetrical, dipole moments cancel each other out, making the molecule non-polar. Example, carbon dioxide. Next question, what is the role of polarity in solubility? The principle like dissolves like here applies. Polar solvent dissolve polar compounds Example, water dissolves salt. On the other hand, non-polar solvents dissolve non-polar compounds. Example, benzene dissolves oil. Next question, how does polarity affect boiling and melting points? So answer is, polar molecules have stronger intermolecular forces, dipole-dipole and hydrogen bonding leading to higher boiling and melting points. On other hand, non-polar molecules rely on weaker Van der Waals forces leading to lower boiling and melting points. Next question, is carbon tetrachloride CCl4 is polar or non-polar? So answer is, it is non-polar. Although the bond between carbon and chlorine are polar, but the tetrahedral symmetry cancels out the dipoles. Hence, it is non-polar. Next question, why is water highly polar? So answer is, water has a bent molecular shape and a large electronegativity difference between hydrogen and oxygen, creating a strong dipole movement. Hence, water is highly polar. Next question, what is the difference between ionic and polar covalent bonds? So answer is, ionic bonds occur when electrons are completely transferred. Example, NaCl. On the other hand, 
polar covalent bonds involve unequal sharing of electrons example hcl next question what is hydrogen bonding and how it is related to polarity so answer is hydrogen bonding is a strong dipole dipole interaction occurring between highly polar molecules where hydrogen h is bonded to nitrogen oxygen or fluorine example is water and nh3 ammonia next question why is ammonia that is nh3 is polar so answer is ammonia has a trigonal pyramidal shape and a lone pair on nitrogen creating an unequal charge distribution and making it polar next question why is carbon dioxide that is co2 non polar despite having polar bonds so answer is carbon dioxide that is co2 has a linear geometry you can see in the figure causing the dipoles to cancel out each other resulting in no net dipole moment hence carbon dioxide that is co2 is non polar next question how does polarity affect chromatography techniques like tlc that is thin layer chromatography and hplc that is high pressure liquid chromatography so answer is in tlc polar compounds interact more with the polar stationary phase example silica making it move slower while in hplc polar mobile phases help separate compounds based on polarity differences next question why is ethanol that is c2h5oh considered both polar and non polar so answer is ethanol has a polar hydroxide that is oh group and a non polar ethyl that is c2h5 group making it capable of dissolving both polar and non polar substances next question what is the difference between polar and non polar bonds so answer is polar bonds occur between atoms with different electronegativities leading to uneven electron distribution while non polar bonds occur between atoms with similar or identical electronegativities resulting in an equal distribution of electrons next question what is electronegativity so answer is electronegativity is a measure of an atom's ability to attract shared electrons in a chemical bond the greater the difference in electronegativity between two atoms the more polar the bond will be next question explain dipole moment so answer is a dipole moment is a measure of the polarity of a molecule it occurs when there is a separation of charges within the molecule with one end being partially positive and the other partially negative next question why is carbon monoxide that is co is polar so answer is carbon monoxide is polar because the oxygen atom is more electronegative than the carbon atom creating a dipole the molecule has a bent shape which means the dipole moment does not cancel out resulting in a polar molecule thank you i hope you like this video and i am sure this interview question and answers will definitely help you to clear your concepts regarding polarity so stay tuned for more videos like this please like share and subscribe my videos and also show your support in the comment section bye